Hello world, I'm El Cop. Welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we are back in London at this moment. Last time we got ourselves a new gunnery officer and we sold some of our stuff we had. And I just remember, hey, we have some solace fruit here as well. So let's just sell the solace fruit as well. And while we're here, let's buy a bit more supplies and uh, fuel as well. Uh, let's actually buy the hold full. We got money. Uh, we got places to go. Mostly... The place we want to go at this particular point in time is uh, what was it called? Uh, can our journal maybe tell us? Uh, no, doesn't actually tell us. Because uh, the the smiling man wanted us to go to uh, Mount something, uh, but it's north. So let's just head north. We got, I think we got ourselves a new engine last time as well, didn't we? Let's see if we check our hold. Yeah, we got ourselves a new engine. So we should be able to go a little bit faster than we did before, which is of course good. So uh, we're heading like somewhere here-ish. And on Shepherd Isles, there was someone we might want to take with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hunter's Keep, going to Demo Island, going to go to Abbey Rock, going to go to Shepherd Isles. And then we're going to check out the north here and try to find the place we were supposed to find. Mount Palmerston, is it called? Something like that. Yeah, so that's where we're headed and now. We also do have ourselves a new officer here. And uh, we met the Clattery Heirs father we haven't spoken to her about that yet so we might uh, do that while we're sailing here uh wait why can we know about wait we can't talk to her about the father uh unlock when learning about the clattery air is something so we probably need to get get the strange catch and talk to her after that. okay well let's talk to the presbyterate adventurous all's well captain did you need something? Invite her to dine with you. Oh, we'd need some coffee to dine with her. Or we could increase our iron. How many secrets do we have? We have seven secrets. What did the Gladiator air give us? Hearts. Hmm. Well, uh, let's increase our irons to... Let's say... Uh, yeah, so we're up to 40. That seems like a good number. So we'll keep that, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, we'll visit the Hunter's Keep, but we're not gonna go and talk with the sisters, because there's really no reason to go talk with the sisters right now. Uh, also, we, we're not, we, we do have the news, but we don't want to tell them the news, because I want to tell the news to the, to the at the Abbey. So, we're just gonna go pop in here. We are going to do the reconnoitering. Ships rarely come here. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing every time I see it. Ooh, the parlor is empty. Where are the sisters? Whoa, this is something new. Let's do this. The maid makes it clear through a series of unwelcoming growls that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are all three undisposed. Indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. Okay. Well, we weren't going to lunch there anyway, so it doesn't really matter to us. And then we'll head to Demo Island towards uh, the fungal diggers uh, there. And... Uh, as I asked, I asked in the, I think it was in the first episode where I asked uh, if people would like to see the sailing bits, and uh, all the comments who responded said that yeah, I, I don't mind about seeing the sailing bits. So we're probably going to be seeing a lot of these sailing bits. But also, uh, one commenter pointed out, which I was already thinking about myself, that maybe it's a good idea to uh, show the sailing when we're going to new areas, and then when we're going through same areas we've already been before, just and then cut out the part which uh, to me feels like that's a pretty good idea okay I thought we might do this without battle so uh, basically every time we're going to somewhere where we've been before so basically uh, if I wasn't talking about this thing right here right now I would have got this part of us uh, going to this battle well I would have shown us the battle of course but uh, the part where we came from London to about here, so I probably would have got. Well, from a hunter's keep to here -ish. The ship is yours. What will you do with her? Loot and scuttle her. She's a vile old vessel, and these Zs aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. These pinnacles don't sail far from their hidden harbors, but here's something at the back of the hold. You have finished opening a cache of curiosity. Shake out a little and let it glimmer in the light. 
Spider silk. You find spider silk in London, of course. There are troubles there with sorrow spider infestation, like anywhere in the Neath. But for the real quality, you need to go east to Canet, or the fang bristling fastness of Xavier's Rock. You now have one bolt of spider silk, and let's go towards Demil Island. We're in the fog here. There, we, we already see it. So we're pretty close by. Uh, the, the fog is, of course, very bad for our terror. As you can see, it's increasing quite rapidly here. But as soon as we get out of the mist, it's gonna ease up quite a lot. And we can go to Demil Island. Duck here. Uh, we can have tea with the factor. We can explore the island. We can explore the volunteer. We can compile. Well, let's start by compiling the port report. Uh, right, and then. How much stuff we st we have three cargo space left? Wait, we had Cintelac as well. I forgot to sell that. <laughs> oh, I feel like I have a lot of stuff I should have sold in London, but I just forgot. Well, uh, let's have tea with the factor. The poor fellow is a company, and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. Uh, it's the exact same text as it was uh, before. Ooh, we gained. One supply. Yeah. Also, we need to go to the husp that place in Vendebright at some point. That is for sure. Uh, let's not buy any fuel from here. We don't need any of that yet. And we will just uh, get out of here. The port report was the thing we mostly wanted to do here. Uh, getting a little bit of terror away is, of course, always a good thing. Ooh, giant crab. Giant crab. How much health does the giant crab have? 150. Yeah, we're not going to be fighting against the giant Crab. Oh, actually, we weren't supposed to even go on this side of the island because we're heading towards Abbey Rock next. So, uh, we'll just get there. There's a little bit of darkness over here. I might try and go clean that bit out from the map. Or, yeah, because if we just go pretty much straight from here, we'll head to the dark bit on the map, and then we'll remove the dark bit, and then we'll head uh, to Abbey, Abbey Rock. And here we are in the darkness. Did I already talk to all the people we can talk to here? Let's poke. Entertain your blemican. Does this do anything good? No, it doesn't do anything for us. Uh, which makes actually makes me think. Can we talk to the this one? We can talk to. Oh no, we gain terror for talking to the comatose ferret. <laughs> uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh. Turn on the lights, we're getting a lot of terror. I didn't even realize we were in the darkness there. Ooh, but hey, there's a flashlight. Flashlight. No, not a flashlight, a lighthouse. That will help us. Okay, as soon as we're some way in. Okay, now that is gone. Ooh, there's a monster. We'll try to fight the monster. Let's hope that it's not too much of a problem for us. Up, up. Ow, took a little bit of damage. Oh, the crop took 8 damage. Come on, come on, come on. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Okay, what do we get from here? Gillyfleur's end. The Gillyfleur. Is it the young Gillyfleur? A lesser subspecies? Do the dreams of Gillyfleur become real? In any case, now it's sad to look good, dissolving into the sea. Scoop it up, let it disperse. Watch it oil rainbow colors faced. What? Unlocked when surveyed visage is unlocked with no more than zero times 44 visage. Let's let it disperse, see what this does. Watch its oil rainbow colors fade. A face? From above, the Gillyfleur's cap does look a little like a woman's face. She dissolves like smeared paint. You now have one Z story. Okay, we will close the gazette here then. Finish the battle and head towards Abbey Rock down here. Get another lighthouse over here. Be nice if it would shine its light on us right now, but we'll have to use our own own light apparently. Then uh, is this mist? Uh, maybe this is mist. Tip Abbey Rock. Uh, we will compile a port report, of course. Yes, yes, and uh, then we will knock at the Ironstone Gate with news. Perhaps they'll find it valuable. The muscular prioress, uh, the abbess lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to news of mass beast predations and the traffic of the rooftops. 
In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. Okay, we lost a little bit of terror. Right, and then we can watch the convent. Get five fragments. Didn't we do this last time as well? Pretty sure we did the exact same thing. Yeah, because they're tur turning somersaults <laughs> on the walls. So, yeah, I remember that, so we did do that here last time. So, can we just, like, grind that place for fragments? That's nice. Okay, and then... We will go to... Oh, we don't need to... Use the light when we're in the lighthouse's light. Or do we? Do we get... Yeah, we actually apparently do need it. But hey, we're going to Shepherd Isle and over here. Last time at least there was a guy who was willing to become our... Captain? No, not Captain, we're the Captain. First Officer. I think it's the First Officer that he was... I'm not absolutely 100% sure. But let's go see if he's still here. Shepherd Isles. We'll, yeah, he's still here. The sigil ridden navigator. We'll compile a port report again. And then we will uh, take the sigil written navigator. I let, let me guide your ship. I know all the sea. How it was. How it will be. Please. The headaches only stop when I'm working. The navigator is the first officer increases mirrors and veils. Relief. Thank you. The nonsense here was a distraction for a while. But only the Z can help me now. Oh my god, the air. The air. It's clearer already. Let me try to course for you. Oh, my head. My head. Point your new officer by dragging him from officer's tab to his slot. Yes, 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 we will do that. Of course we will. We will go to the officer's tab. We will put the first officer in here. You can create mirrors and veils. Veils decrease the range of which you're so seen. Uh, mirrors, higher mirrors to where you can find a fire solution in combat. Okay, let's talk to him as well. I yes, yes, now it's good. Thank you. Could increase our mirrors. Ooh, let's actually do increase our mirrors so that it's a round number. I'm sorry, it's the pain. Now this is what you wanted, I think. He's eager to instruct you, like a drowning man striking for air, but he struggles to put words to his understanding. Does the sigil give him insight, or is an old learning has failed to forget? Right, let's uh, invite him to dine. He has an admirable appetite for so slight a fellow. Seconds, uh, then thirds, disappeared in small, hasty morsels. He's nervous, and not a gifted conversationalist. You do your best to plug the silence. When you ask about his past, he winters. I can't say, Captain. This, he taps to the livid sigil on his temple, which twitches like a scorpion sting, has burned away my memories. I recall I have a brother, but not his name or where he is. I remember the names of the ships I served on. The implicit, the bunny swan, but not their crew. How did he come by the sigil? He clutches, he said. I don't know. I don't know. Think about it, it's like fire in my skull. He grits his teeth. Someone must have hated me very much to curse me with it, but I can't even remember my enemy. Speak to him again to advance his story. Your navigator's sigil has devoured his memory, so he can't recall his past. You lost one suffice. Uh, that's fine. So can we talk to him immediately again? Captain! Captain! My sleep is riddled with dreams, Captain. Dreams of bells and candles. My destination. He paces the deck. I see a lonely house lit by tallow and wick. A bell is ringing. It rings now. Do you hear it? He scratches at his sigil, which has begun to bleed. Do you know this place, Captain? Can I plot a course? The place of candles and bells, the chapel of lights, a northern church where no sin is too terrible. Your sigil is navigator wants to go to the chapel of lights to find his lost memories. Okay, well, they said it is in north, and we are heading north anyway, so let's just hope that, uh, because, like, the place we're going to the mount something. Why did you go into combat there, okay? Oh, cause there's a boat over there. Is it a big boat or a small boat? It is a small boat. So we can actually... Uh, come on, don't, don't be right in front of them. Oh, crap, this is bad. We're just gonna be exchanging shots. Okay, we'll put you there and we'll crash you. Loot and scuttle her. We have found something. What is this? A stout crate. Crates, the source of sustenance, the fundamental element of cargo. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh, fuel. Nice. Okay, all clear. Move on. Uh, start sending the Z-Bat out because we really need to find... There is something underwater distance to the north-west. Okay, it didn't show us anything on the map. And we should probably also try to get ourselves a submarine at some point. Khan's glory is some distance to the southeast. 
Uh, sure, let's go there. Ooh, there's a big... Ooh! Did someone want to go to the Canet? No, he wanted to go to the Chelonet, the dude we had. But here is... We're at the Canet then. Uh, let's just... Uh, go around. We can probably buy some fuel from here. Maybe some supplies. I'm not sure if we need to. But it might be useful. I'm turning my light uh, on occasionally because when you turn your light on you kind of like see stuff further on so you get the fragments more easily. Okay, Khan's glory over here. Yeah, see, we have, if, we had, if we hadn't had our lights on we probably wouldn't have discovered time in here. Khan's glory, a place of stately isolation. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belly robes breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized kimbo. Belded robes breakfast on balconies. Uh, that's a, a nice sentence there. So we could offer a gift to the leopard, we could offer a... Uh, we'll petition access to an infrared quarter, we could offer a gift to the Tymon. We could plead our cases with the Tymon. Uh, ask the leopard contacts to intercede with Tymon. Uh, so, okay, so we could do... Ooh, take a meeting concerning a matter important. A certain amount of time missing, his loss is a danger. Okay, this is something new. This is something from the yeah, uh, the submariner, submariner uh, DLC. So let's go see what this is. There's a place one doesn't speak of. Officially, a former servant of the Timon, who did not engage in the gatherings of strategic information, did not appear to the Untazir port of Anthe, which officially does not exist. At length you hear what this servant did not look like, and strict prohibitions against pursuing him. Officially, no one in Khan's glory would have any interest or be at all inclined to reward you with money and connections if you were to go to Anthe. They would not care for a report on the, his situation or any information he may be unable to bring home. Okay. Uh, one thing I do realize, uh, Khan's glory has a steely beauty, but the clan lords are ever suspicious spies and those gun emplacement are vigilant. I mean, it's an 80% chance. I don't, I'm not sure what this does, but let's just roll for it. Strength and brilliance. Light blazes from every gate and window. You glimpse guards in gleaming uniform, subterranean gardens of mauve and purple, hanging ornaments of scaled carnelian and jade, statues of warrior cans pass. The water is dark and cold. The sentries watch you with calm distrust. So, we lost some terror, we got a memory distant sword, we have the white and gold are watching menaces, Kaganian suspicion. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing to do. Uh, do we have shops we can do here? No. Uh, okay, well let's move on. Uh, there's something to the south here, because I don't remember what the cannon is look, uh, formed like. Yeah, there's another place a little bit to the south here, and then there is a third place that's about here-ish. So we'll probably go all through all of these places, and then we will start heading back north. What we'll probably do is uh, we'll hit like, straight north. Hmm, maybe if we buy more fuel, maybe we can get like over here, like in the corner, because I think we were, we wanted to go to Irem, and I think Irem is always here. So we'll, maybe we'll go there, and then we'll uh, head, like, up the, we'll go through the northern edge back here, we go to Wither Codex, Wenderbite, and back to London that way. That seems like a plan of sorts. Hey, we got ourselves another secret. We could increase our things. Ah, woo, what? Alright, you increased mirrors, you increased heart, and you increased iron. Okay, and here we go to Khan's heart, London's rival. An oasis of light in the sold black waste. Canals like the painted city, street lamps glow, and water taxis potter. So we could seek a commercial license. We could spend some time in the tea house. We could hire crews, purchase fuel at outrageous price, purchase supplies at ludicrous price. We could pay a storyteller. We could gather a port report, but it's a tough post. We could establish a spy in Khan's heart. It's also a tough challenge. Uh, could seek intelligence, which is oh, almost uh, impossible. But this is this the. Port report, yeah. 
I think. Oh, no, here's support report. Uh, 38%. Okay, I don't want to roll these. Uh, let's see if we can seek a commercial license. The Canadians dislike merchants and they dislike foreigners. Foreign merchants include paroxysms of antipathy. Perhaps sufficient bribes will buy your way into an upright quarter. Not here, surfacer. Surfacer? But the Caganians have been generated underground and them all Londoners are surfaces. It seems you'll need to go to Khan's glory, the nearby palace of nobility, to seek a license. Okay. Uh, don't think there's anything else here we'd like to do right now. So, uh, there is one more place in the Kaganit that is, like, down here, at least. I think it's always down here. Oh, we don't need to use our lights. Yeah, Khan's shadow. It is... Uh, is it somewhere here-ish? Let's... <laughs> Come on! Uh, oh! Okay, there it is, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's less south than I was expecting it to be. But here we can actually do some business. So we might want to... Uh, we don't even need to buy any more fuel, do we? Like we had 20 fuel when we left, didn't we? If we only used 5 to get here. 5 there, 10 back. Yeah, and we can buy fuel back. Okay, we don't need to buy anything. We can probably sell stuff here though. Because we do have some stuff we can sell. Ooh, th there's a big looking boat we don't want to deal with. Khan Shadow, the city that swam. Long ago, the Khanat turned its back on its warrior traditions. It has no place for pirates and would be nomad. So here, in the shadow, the exiles make their home amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ship. Approach the man staring at you, cannot do because we are not a Zoomerner. We can acquire a doomed monster hunter. We need one element of dawn. We can compile a port report. Okay, we will compile a port report. So many malcontents, so little time. Conniving, debauching, speechifying, drinking, singing, speeching, poeting. Now and then a drunken duel. Very occasionally a savage ritual murder. And if we check out the shops, we could buy Stygian ivory or crates of human souls. Or we could buy fuel and supplies or outlandish artifacts or empty mirror catch box. Uh, you know, I we know we need a mirror catch box at some point, so I'm just gonna buy one. Uh, I'm gonna buy one fuel, just in case. And then we are going to leave and we're gonna turn off our light because there is a big boat right there that will probably hurt us if we uh, if it catches us. So we'll go around Khan's shadow from uh, this side so that we don't meet the boat. And then we'll start heading north and yeah, I think we're gonna go straight to the corner there then back. Because that should give us pretty much all the northern locations if we do it like that. Uh, let's send the Z-Bat out just in case there's something this way, cause this looks like there might be something here. Uh, let's sh send uh, the sheep Z bat, Z bat, not Z bat, Z bat. It's important to remember to have the Z be really Z in the Z. Oh, Port Cecil is some distance to the northeast. Okay, where? Okay, let's go to Port Cecil. That will probably be well. It's a poll report, at least. That's what every location is. So, uh, where is there's the harbor? Turn on some lights so that we can get the uh, fragments from finding out these things. And oh, we used one fuel on our way here. Oh, there's a big monster as well over there. We don't want to deal with that. Port Cecil, a sourceless silver glow, a haven for players of games. Rampled convolutions of coral fill the water, glimmering with silvery light. The harder you look, the more you see shapes amid the chaos, almost as if they were sculptured. This one could be a crenellated castle, that one a horse's head. A near little port huddles in the side of Coral Island, prosaic imperial docks and houses tucked away in a barrack volcanic chaos. In the curious silvery light, among the frozen chaos of coral, the scene has and has the unreal air of a pencil sketch, crumple and discard. So we play stash, chess here, we could explore, we could gather intelligence, we could put the Blemican ashore, we could sell a chess piece, we could gather Sintelac. 
Uh, sure, let's get out of some Sintelac. Sin the base of the coral will fetch a high price in London, but the reefs of the principles and you walk the reefs of the principles and you risk delusion and despair. Take your crew and go carefully. Polypoid whispers. Oh no, we failed, but we, we did gain some Sintelac, gain some terror as well. It's against local law and custom to break coral from the reef, and you've seen the scars of those who tried, the acid burns, the blind silver eyes. So you're looking for loose fragments. Today the Z is calm, and you find a good few candidates. They lie shining softly like droplets of moon. But after a little while, you become concerned that their eyes, that each is watching you. When you close your fist around one, it examines your blood with amused delight. When you put them together in your pocket, they clatter and gossip together. Of course, you think. They broke from the shining might. They have its vitality, but not its, its weirdness or experience. You'll have to lock them in separate boxes, lest they peep at you when you're bathing and see who you are. The thought of their sight on your skin fills you with horror. What if your skin turned clear? What if they saw your bones? You come back to yourself when you see one of your sailors fall on his back and start kicking delightedly in the air like a beetle. Gravity! He cries. I have fallen! You hasten back to the ship with your hull of coral before it can do any further damage. Okay. So let's see what other things we have. So we, we have a straightforward chess, chess challenge here. Chess is popular in the principles. The port is full of exiles, drunks and washed up Z traders. They all play, often obsessively. Be careful, the chess pieces are carved from Sintelac. Here in the principles, that can be very dangerous. So, we'll do a straightforward challenge. A disciplined success. Odd, thought, odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for hope. That one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of its rank mate. This will be a queen one day. Those who do better as metal, you taste the metal. You ignore these thoughts and move methodically to victory over your opponent. He blinks. Checkmate? He asks helplessly. Yeah, we gained one pages. Woo! That's actually very good. Opening moves. Right on. Can we play more? We can play more. Also, we can gather some intelligence. What happens here? The older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry coral incrustations like a disease, splashed with silvery light. They like to go up in the limestone heights behind the harbor, to lay their heads against the pillars and towers, stare at the roof of the neath, dream, open-eyed. Sometimes they speak of things far away. The cannons work, the smugglers war, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. So we have a port report from here. Uh, let's play some more chess then. One more game. You don't know how long you've been playing. You want a match, another. The rough coral tips of the chess piece are smeared with blood, yours, your opponent's. But you have begun to realize that your moves recapture the movements of the powers of the need, the flukes and their shapelings, the bazaar that lurks in London, Mount Nomad that prowls the sea, salt, stone, storm. <coughs> Excuse me. With every move you take, the shape of it becomes clearer in your mind, sharper. Checkmate, you say. One more game, your first offer tugging at your arm. Ignore them, you have chess to play. Ooh, even more pages. And two secrets. Oh, well, this is good. Can we play more chess? A very chancy challenge. 41% chance. Uh, none of you increased our pages, I think. 41% uh, challenge. No, I don't want to roll that. It'll probably give us something bad. So let's just uh, start heading out of here. Oh, actually, do you have shops here? Uh, you sell fuel. Uh, we don't really need more fuel. We might need some more supplies, though. No, probably not. We can probably buy them from somewhere else as well. So let's, let's just uh, get moving. And I actually think this might be a good time to put a cut in here. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, next time we're going to continue our sailing from Port Cecil towards uh, the northeast corner of the map. But yeah, that's going to be next time. And we're going to end at this one here. I'm Lukaku. This has been Sunless Sea. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.